Hello, all my rad friends. Welcome back to another video. I'm jumping on here to film a quick intro for what I guess is Makeup Declutter Volume 2.5. Uh, it was supposed to be part of the last video, but it would have been way too long. So I broke it off into a new video, but I didn't have an intro film for it. So, oh, and <laughs> so today's video is going to be uh, me decluttering my lip products. The next category that we're going to do in the video today is going to be lip products, but let's pull them out. So this is a little divider I made out of a shoe box that I keep in my vanity drawer. And this is what I use to divide my lipsticks. This is, I divide it into reds, sort of like neutrals and clears, and then like crazy colors over here. And then on top of that, the fourth category is lip liner that I usually just keep then next to the divider like that. So let's start with lip liner and at least get into the crazy colors before we really move into reds and sort of neutrals. Okay, these are my lip liners. It's a very kind of utilitarian category. Probably could have gone with it when I did my day of like staples, but gosh, all of these are really old and gross. This one works okay. NARS Jungle Red Lip Liner, and it still performs pretty good, but I also have this MAC one in Ruby Woo, and they are virtually identical. Oh, it's not going to stop rolling. The NARS pencil is quite old. I don't know why I have two. Um... I think I actually, I'm trying to decide. I, I don't want to. I think I actually like the NARS one better, so I'm going to get rid of the MAC one. Uh, just because I don't need two and I'm trying to pare down. That leaves the, this, uh, what is this, Milani Anti-Feathering Lip Liner. It's clear, it's just like a silicone. I've never really gotten this to work. It doesn't do anything, it's dumb, so I'm getting rid of that. And that leaves Charlotte Tilbury. I've got this, this is the, what is this? Is this pillow talk? Lip cheat in pillow talk. This I like to use if I have a really weird color. This is just for uh, defining, I don't know, defining my lips when I have like a neutral lip shade on, just to sort of, I like to do that to make it last longer, make it wear better. So I'm gonna keep that. And this one is a piece of shit. It like dried out and the tip fell out. There's no, there's no product in there. Um, so I'm going to get rid of that, but I need a replacement for that because I do like a vampy lip and I need a lip liner that will go with that to help me get, like, I like to have a really sharp line. So definitely need a new one and I'm not going to get Charlotte Tilbury again. I'll probably go with either Mac or NARS. They're just my go-tos for staple products that I know are going to last, especially I have good luck with uh, Mac and pencils. So I'll get rid of that. So there were five and now there are two. So there we go. Keeping getting rid of. Next up we have the crazy lipstick category. I really like this Kaleidos Lip Clay in blue. I wish it was a purpley blue instead of like this tealy blue. I think it, it would, I would wear it more, but I love this formula and this is a really fun color and it hasn't gone off or anything. So I'm going to be keeping the Kaleidos Lip Clay in Agave. Next up, we have the ColourPop Lip Gloss from the Hocus Pocus 2 collection. And this was in the color Boys Will Love Me. I got into the idea of, this was around Halloween and I thought it would be really fun. And this was before I realized that I hated ColourPop's lip gloss formula. It's super sticky. I don't actually think that this looks good on me because of the, the glitter. Um, the same color without the glitter I think would have been cool to have, but I don't like this, so I'm getting rid of it. Oh gosh, Flower Beauty. I don't know if you can tell, if you can see how messed up the packaging is. 
this product gets everywhere and it gets really gummy and weird. It, it, it's cool when you first put it on. It's this powder that as soon as you put it on your lips, as soon as you have it on the wand, it turns into like a cream. And I thought it would be fun to have it in this really desaturated, dusty purple color. And uh, it's awful. It's gummy. It doesn't, after a while, it turns gummy on the lips. If you try to reapply, it just, it's a nightmare. It's gross. So I'm getting rid of that. And that leaves these three bullets from MAC. These, this is MAC Instigator, which was an OG favorite of mine for years. This is like the third tube I've tracked down. It's amazing. It's like the perfect purpley red. I've tried to find dupes for it because I had to get this from eBay. It's not made anymore. And I was not able to find dupes, but I will never get rid of this. You can see that beautiful purple color. So I will never get rid of that. And this was, what is this, Gunner? Yeah, this was a color I bought when I, for a while, couldn't find any Instigator. And I thought it would be similar, but it's not. It's just, it's more like purple, purple. And if I'm going to go for a purple lip or a kind of weird looking lip, it's not going to be this. I did get a decent amount of use on it. You can see that I've worn it a bunch of times. So, um, but I'm just not, I don't see myself really wearing this anymore. And then these two special ones. I kind of panic bought these right before my no buy year, right at the end of 2019. And they're both so strange. It's this sparkly purple and this sparkly silver. They are very interesting lipsticks and they have beautiful embossing on them. I love looking at them. So the purple ends up looking on my lips just like a metallic blue. And then this, I, I use as a topper. It's sort of clear. It goes on sort of sheer and it's just like an iridescent purple blue. So there is some highlighter on my hand still, but I think you can see. And <clears throat> honestly, if I put this color over like Instigator or over something else, I kind of get the same effect as when I wear this. I don't really need this as a standalone color. So I'm gonna get rid of this dark purple one, which is Asterisk. And I'm gonna keep this lighter sheer one, just because it's fun sometimes to play around with that. It's called Destined for Stardom. So these are my, my weird lip colors as I think of them. And I'm gonna keep these three on the right and get rid of these four on the left. I'm just gonna go wash my hands and then we are going to move on to the next categories of lip products. I am back with clean hands and we are ready to do some serious swatching because I have a lot of red lipsticks to get through. So instead of doing the neutrals, let's do the reds. It's reds and bright pinks because I think those categories are kind of similar. They're statement lips. These are all of my red lipsticks. And I'm never gonna get these not to roll, am I? Here, we'll do the non-round ones at the ends. Okay, where do we start? Let's separate the pinks from the reds. Pinks on the right. And what color is this? Okay, yeah, I think we're good. Okay, so we've got, nope, this is a pink. Okay, let's do the pinks first and focus on these pinks. I've got four pink lipsticks and I kind of messed up. I really wanted to get a new bright pink lipstick and I totally for, like ordered one and then before it came, forgot and then ordered another. So I bought this Kaleidos lipstick in Cactus Flower, which is a beautiful color and I absolutely love this lip clay formula. It's just amazing, just love it. And it's a really pretty bright pink. And on, on me, it just, it goes a little dark almost. It doesn't look like neon, as neon on my lips as you would think. I think that's just because, you know, the pigment on my lips deepens it a little bit more than just when it's on my skin. And this is the Gucci lipstick in Love Before Breakfast. I love both of these. 
They're both my precious babies. They're pretty similar. They look pretty similar on the lips. The formulas do differentiate them though. The Kaleidos Lip Clay, I definitely, the it's a powder, it kind of turns into like a powdery finish on the lips and it gives like a really dried down appearance. It's not quite a, like a traditional liquid lipstick, but it's along those lines. And the Gucci lipstick is just like a very lip, it's, it's just a, more of a normal matte lipstick formula and you definitely get that sort of lipsticky look. And I like the lipsticky look. So this is something, I think like this is something I'd wear during the day when I want longevity and this is something I'd wear at night when I want to look like I'm wearing a bright lipstick. So I think even though they're almost identical, I think I'm gonna keep both of them and that might be a little ridiculous, but oh well. And then these other two. I have had this since probably about 2018. I bought this, it is a Korean brand. I don't really, the face shop, just bought it on clearance when a Korean beauty store in the mall was going out of business. It is very similar to the other ones, except slightly brighter and bluer. And it's a satiny, almost glossy formula. And I just don't wear this. I think the matteness of the other ones makes them more wearable for me. This, something about it just doesn't look as good on my skin tone. So I'm going to get rid of it. And last but not least, we have, I have no idea. If I can figure it out, I'll put it up on the screen what it is. This is not traditionally a color that I think looks good on me. It looks like it would be a red, but it does go quite bright pink on me. You can really see how pink it goes when you have it next to the other pinks, despite the packaging being red. But it's definitely a warm pink. It's like a bright watermelon, which is kind of fun. I never wear it on its own, but I have found something about this formula is really good for using this almost like a lip stain and then putting lip gloss over it. I've tried doing that with other lipsticks and they just turn into like a mess and everything gets like oily and smeary. But for some reason, when I do it with this stuff, it just works really well. So I'm going to keep this, but I never wear it on its own, but it is a fun color, that watermelon. Maybe I should try wearing it on its own sometime. I don't know. I don't know if that's the best color on me, but this is perfect for wearing under lip gloss and just giving my lips like a really shiny, brighter pink look. Okay, now the reds. I'm just gonna pick this one out right away. This is a raw man, uh, glass sting, water tint, vintage ocean. It's like a lip gloss slash water tint. Um, I don't know why I bought it. I know better than to buy warm colors, but it, I don't know, I saw it on, on a YouTuber and I thought it looked really good. And on me, it just looks, it looks red on them. It looked like a, oh, almost like a vampy red. And on me, it's just orange. And I just never want my lips to look like this. I've worn it on video before and I thought it looked okay, but I just, I'm not drawn to this color. So I, it just doesn't get worn. And what's the point of having it in my drawer? So we are gonna get rid of this. Okay, let's look at these red, all these red bullets, so many, and we're gonna swatch them all. This is Studded Kiss Matte, I don't know, from MAC. It's a really pretty color, but this bullet is probably eight years old. I don't know, it's maybe not eight, actually maybe eight, it's really old. You can see it. I've almost used it up. This is rolled all the way out. The next color I actually wore on my wedding and it's really pretty. Oh gosh, you see how soft that is though? It's really pretty, but it's kind of messy. This is Written in Blood Forbidden Lipstick from Ritual Defeat, and it is a really beautiful color. Let me do a little bit better swatch, but not destroy the bullet this time. Or is the bullet messed up for good? Yeah, I'm gonna have to like trim. <laughs> Look at that. Look at that. Look at what I did. I'm gonna have to trim that. That was my fault. I got out of hand and I, I pressed really hard. This is a beautiful lipstick, but the smell, it's, it smells very strongly of citronella. It's a little bit off-putting and I it is messy to wear, although I love the color. It's like a perfect deep crimson. I'm not, I'm gonna wait till the end to make decisions because this is gonna be hard. This A lot of these were bought in search of the perfect red. I really like this color. This is the first time I ever got a red that looked like a traditional bright red on me because when I buy traditional bright reds, 
They don't look that way. They they don't look quite right on me. This is the ColourPop. It's from the Villains collection. It's called Evil Queen. This is my favorite color red I've ever had, but I hate the formula. And then there was, oh gosh, I think you can see what the problem is on this one. This is the Lisa Eldritch Velvet, what is it, Velvet, Velvet Ribbon. And yeah, Velvet Ribbon, and it broke. And I am not the only one that's had their lipstick, one of the velvet lipsticks break. I think it's a beautiful formula, but I think she made a mistake in putting it in a bullet or she needed to include something else. It's getting all over. I bought it as a replacement for this because I, it was the same color. I thought it turns out it's a nightmare. I'm not the only person who's had their bullets break. It's almost every makeup guru or makeup YouTuber that I've seen who has this says theirs is broken. Um, and you can see this is what I mean. It These kind of like traditional bright reds tend to look um, like just pink on me almost. So I think I'm definitely going to get rid of that. But we're going we're going to go through all of them before I make a decision. And then this is like the oldest, one of my oldest lip products. I got this YSL sample probably in 2010. And I love this formula, this YSL formula. This still works. I was gonna wear this on my wedding, but I just know that this this formula still smells like mangoes. It's delicious. It goes really feathery on me. So it looks good for a short amount of time, but doesn't last very well, which is why I didn't wear it on my wedding. It's actually feathers more than the Ritual de Fee. The Ritual de Fee is a bit smearier, but this feathers. I do like it though. It's like a very shiny red. It's like my very like 1970s lip but I don't wear it as much, but I'm so close to the end. I just want to kind of use it up and finish it. I don't want to get rid of it. And then the last of like my bright reds is Cruella from NARS. And it's beautiful. I actually got this after my wedding and I wish I'd found it before because I probably would have worn it. And it's beautiful. I love the formula. This made me fall in love with the formula, the velvet matte lip pencil. Absolutely love it. 10 out of 10. So what are we going to get rid of out of this? I think we're going to get rid of the Lisa Eldritch. So that one's going away because it's just a, it's a nightmare. And I think we're going to get rid of, am I going to get rid of this? Oh gosh, you guys, this is hard. I don't know. Um, I think I am going to get rid of this Mac one. It's really old and pretty much whenever I want a deep red like this, I kind of go for the Cruella. And I can always rebuy this. This this is one of Mac's standard colors, I think. So I think I'm gonna get rid of that. And just keep these three. This one's almost used up. That feels okay. Uh, actually, I think I'm going to get rid of this as well. I just hate this formula. It's not, it goes, it feels nice going on. It's very silicone-y though, and it just kind of gets everywhere. I like a stickier lipstick. I don't like super silicone-y lipsticks. It's something I've learned about myself. So we're gonna get rid of the Villains as well. I've had it, gosh, three or four years now, and I, I, I've used about half of it. I think we're okay to get rid of that one. And then, so I think I'm gonna keep these three. I've got a matte, I've got this, deeper blood red but it's like really emollient and it is um it is a company that what is that it's like natural ingredients so I feel a little safer using that right now and then this one which I'm just going to use up try to use up very soon and then that'll just leave me with two for now and we've got these two dark reds this is what I've actually been wearing when I've wanted to wear a red lip lately because oh, look at that this is the Kaleidos, could have probably swatched this with the other one. Kaleidos Lip Clay in Smeared Rouge. Oh yeah, I definitely didn't need to keep the MAC now that I have this. And this is a very deep red. This is Black Dahlia by Tom Ford. This is almost purple. This is actually very close to, I wanna swatch this next to Instigator actually. Where is that? Oh, I'm curious. I have them in different categories. Okay, yeah, compare 
Instigator is much more purple. I, in my head, I thought that they were very similar, but I had them in different categories. And now I can see why I originally put this in the red and this is in like the purpley fun color category. Cause they compare, when you compare them side by side, you can see the big difference between them. So yeah, I think, I think I'm okay with having only four red lipsticks. Like that's still a lot of red, a lot of red lipsticks. I mean, how many reds do you need, right? I think we all fall into that trap of, oh gosh, I got to find the perfect red. There is no perfect red, but there are slightly different versions. So I've got a couple different finishes, a couple different formulas, and a couple different like depths. And I think that that'll, that'll do me. I only need four. And I started out with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, eight. Let me see. I started out with, what was that one? Okay, yeah, I started out with eight. I'm getting rid of three. I still have five red lipsticks. I don't know why I said four before. Five red lipsticks is still a lot. Soon to be four, because this one's almost used up. But I think that's plenty. I should probably honestly get rid of this, but I'm kind of nostalgic for it. And I just, I want to send it off with pride. I want to, I'm so close to panning it. I just want to finish and we'll get rid of these three. I'm so sad about the Lisa Elders. This is an expensive lipstick to have break, but I'm not going to buy a new one until, I don't know. She addresses the fact that everyone's lipsticks breaks. I don't know. And last but not least, look at this. We have the neutral category. I need to clean this off before we get started, guys. Okay, this is our last category of lip products and then we are done for today's video. This is a big category and unfortunately, you guys, the arm got stained, so I'm gonna have to try to find room over here, but I don't know that there'll be as much swatching in this category, or I don't know, maybe there will. But some of these are kind of dark, but they're sheer formulas, so that's why they got included in the neutral category. This category is stuff when I don't wanna wear like a statement lip. So let's sort out lip glosses first. I think that'll make it a little easier. Lip glosses and lip balms, basically things that are virtually colorless. Right away, I know I wanna get rid of this. This is the Lizzie McGuire, it's supposed to be a plumping lip gloss that I got in my ColourPop mystery box, and I hate it. It's not really plumping, it's like a cool mint it doesn't do anything and it, it's just kind of gross to me. So I just want to get rid of that. Next up is the Star Wars ColourPop Lip Gloss. I'm a big Star Wars fan, but I have discovered that I hate the ColourPop Lip Gloss formula. Now, originally I got these two and these are the ColourPop Lip Oils. And I thought that they were the lip glosses. So these are from the the child collection or the, uh, I think maybe these are from the Mandalorian collection. This one is called Grogu and this one this is called Din Jar. And this looks like a really neutral color on my lips. Uh, surprisingly, even though it looks warm, I guess because it, it, it is so sheer when you actually wear it, it doesn't look very colored on my lips. It just kind of blends in surprisingly, even though I think swatched, it looks pretty similar to the Vintage Ocean did, but it's just really sheer and it just almost is no color at all, but I love the formula for keeping my lips sort of oiled, I guess. And this is probably my favorite like clear gloss. It, this, the clear oil. This has a slight green sparkle, which I, I guess I didn't realize, but now that I, someone mentioned it in a video and now that I look at it, I can see that it does. The wand is stained from me putting this over this Holika Holika, this is like a really favorite combo of mine. And the all of the labeling and packaging has completely worn off. That's a seems to be a common thing with ColourPop lip products. So if you're buying it for the packaging, I would just say to you, like, beware the, you know, the branding of whatever IP that you like, you know, whatever cartoon you like that they have put on their packaging, their lip products is going to wear off 
you can see the Hocus Pocus one is pretty worn off and I only wore this for a couple weeks. I bought this maybe like a month before Halloween and then stopped wearing it. Doesn't matter, I'm getting rid of it anyway, but you, you can see what I mean. The All the things that made these Star Wars are like rubbing off, but I still really like the products, so I'm glad I have them because this lip oil formula is good. But their little gloss formula is gross. It's just so sticky and I hate it. So sayonara. And that leaves these two. I've got a Too Faced Lip Injection Extreme and it's my only plumping lip gloss, so I'm gonna keep it. I generally don't use these, but every once in a while, every once in a while I like to have, give one of these a go and plump up my lips a little, so I'll keep that. Oh, and I have one more gloss I almost forgot about. I just, just got this. You guys, they're not, it's not gonna stay. It's not gonna stay, okay. I just got this. This is the Fenty Beauty Gloss Bomb as a free sample from Sephora. I did like the formula. The color is awful on me. Orange is not my color, as we have established. The, the doe foot's nice. The formula's nice. It's just not my color. But it was a free sample, so that's good to know. But I'm getting rid of this one. And then that leaves this weird balm. It is from a Korean company. I don't know. It's pretty packaging. I don't think I see that. It's like, ooh. But... It's gonna sound weird, but I have an aversion to this. I don't know what it's made of. It seems like it's made of chemicals. And I know that's dumb to say because I'm sure it's not made of anything worse than like what these other ones are. But something about this just, it feels not good to me. I don't, I don't know what it is. I just have an aversion to wearing this. I just don't want it. <laughs> That's horrible. And unfortunately, I've already put it on my lips a couple times, so I can't really give it away. Yeah, I, that's the problem. I did not like this year's Yes Style advent calendar as much as the previous year's. It makes me really, I'm not sure if I'm going to get it again, actually, because I feel like I've gotten rid of a lot of the makeup products from it. So we will see. And that leaves these three glosses, and I'm feeling pretty happy about that. I had one, two, let me see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, if you count this dark one that I got rid of that was sitting with my purple lipsticks. And I'm getting rid of all of those and just having these three. And that feels really good. I like that. Next, let's do sheer lipsticks. Sort of like sheer hybrid, sort of my lips look better sheer lipsticks and these are all nice products they're all high-end brands oh so I think I need to clean this up this is gooey on the back of my hand okay stay okay we are almost done my camera stopped recording so I don't know how much it caught I got it sorted out we're recording again and I think I was swatching this this is the Gucci Lip Voile in Diana Amber. This packaging is wonderful. It's like heavy and nice. The lipstick smells good. And it's this beautiful sheer red. It's like a sheer pinky red. I think this is really pretty. I don't use it all that much. I've kind of forgotten about it, but I'm gonna start using it again. This is brand new. I bought it in December and then I was feeling too sick to actually use it. So I think I've used it once. It is the Merit lipstick in what color is this? Fashion. And it is a sheer lipstick that can be, it can be built up to be quite dark. But the reason I bought it is because of the way it can be worn more sheerly. I think you guys are noticing a trend. A lot of these are very similar. So I don't know how I'm going to choose which ones to get rid of and which ones to keep. Then we have the Gucci. I don't even know what this is, you guys. Rouge de Beauté Brillant. And it is a semi-sheer formula in the color Jody Wild Mauve. And it's a little bit more of a blue purple. I thought this would look better on me than it did. I was a little bit disappointed with how it looked on me. I liked it at first, but I think once I actually compared it to my other sheer lipsticks, I did not like it as much. So, and 
you know, I might get rid of it. It was really stupid expensive, but I never wear it because it's not the most flattering. I think I'm, I think I'm going to get rid of it. I have so many lipsticks in this category and I really don't need five. It would feel good to get rid of one so I could focus on ones that I like a little bit better. Then we have the famous Black Honey from Clinique. I've been using this product off and on for about 20 years. I first discovered it in college. I got a little Clinique palette of lip products and I was excited about this one because I thought it was a vampy lip color, like a dark purple. And then I put it on and realized that it's something entirely different. And I wore this almost every day in college. That whole lip palette, I panned just that one color and then I went and bought um, a bullet of it. Was it like this? I think it was like this back in the day. It was a bullet different, I don't remember. But I actually don't like it as much as I remember. I don't think I like this brown color on me. I know that this is like a really popular product, so maybe I'm dumb for not really wanting it. Well, I'll keep it. It is more sheer than the other ones, and I appreciate that. Sometimes I want something even more subtle, but I still want some color, so we'll keep it. And then... Oh, the YSL. I don't know if you can tell, but this is so old, the gold is wearing off. This used to also go everywhere with me in my purse. It looks bright pink, but it is not. So the bullet's starting to get like greasy on the edges. This is 10 years old. I don't even know if they make this anymore. We'll put it over here. And it is a bright watermelon and it, I wear it sheer, but I don't know, it's just really old guys. It's time to part with it. I think it's time to say goodbye. It's just gross anyway, it's so old. So I'm gonna keep these three and I'm feeling happy about that. These are all really nice products. I can't believe I'm actually getting rid of those. This was so expensive, but you know what? You live, you learn. This purple color doesn't look great on me. So and there we have it. These three and getting rid of these two. I feel I feel good about that. Now the last sort of subcategory within my neutral lip category are actual lipsticks that are kind of neutrally colors. Okay, and you see it, I, it's an area that I've had a lot of problems finding good matches for me in, so it's an area I'm hesitant to buy lipsticks in. So it tends to be dominated with sample sizes. Um, both of these were, and not sample sizes, but like they're half sizes that come in sets or something. This is Dolce Vita, and on me, it almost just blends in with my lips. It's a very natural color. I love this formula. This is the Velvet Matte Lip Pencil. I bought it in a duo with Cruella, and I am very pleased with the colors, both of those colors, so yay. Then we'll try this other one. This was my only really like natural kind of lipstick color. What is it called? Rikugian. I'm probably saying that horribly. And I don't know why I thought of this as a very natural color. It is very pink, almost almost something iridescent about the finish, but not quite. And I just don't think I wanna wear this. I've had this for many years. It doesn't get a lot of wear. Whenever I go through a declutter, I'm like, oh, but this is pretty. And then I wear it once or twice after that. And then I don't touch it again for another year. So I think we're just gonna get rid of it. Uh, let's do these four minis real quick. This is the, I got this in my Kaja, like little three pack. And you know, it, it's that weird thing where if you look at the wand, you would look at the packaging and be like, this is the appropriate color. This is the same color, right? You put some on the packaging. You can see it's not quite the same color. I don't know if you actually can see that, but I want this color. I want this color in lipstick, but what I got was this color which when I put it on my lips, goes kind of orangey in a, in a way that I don't like. Something about its undertone, just it like is bad against the colors of my face and it, I feel like it brings up my blemishes. It's just it's really sad. So that's two strikes for Kaja and their like trio of products that I bought. So I'm gonna get rid of that. Next, we've got the infamous Pillow Talk by Charlotte Tilbury. And as much as I like the lip liner, I don't think this is very flattering on me, this lipstick. The lip liner still manages to look a bit pink on me. 
I don't know. They look very, they look the same, but for some reason, the lipstick, when it's on my lips, looks orangey. See, it looks orangey. I don't know what it is. I don't know. It just, it doesn't work. And we've got Makeup Forever. Oh, this actually is a pretty color on me, and I think I keep forgetting about it because it's so tiny. We're going to swatch it right here. And this actually is a really nice neutral color on me. I'm going to keep this. I for, I keep forgetting I even own it. I literally forgot this existed because, because I have so many little like tiny samples and things in that category. Um, then we've got Chai by Bite Beauty. I've had this quite a while, but it's a pretty color. If I wear it full opacity, it tends to, I don't know. When I wear this, it looks really brown on me. I wear this when I want kind of like a brownish 90s look. I know it's not a brown lipstick. It's like a purpley, dusty rose lipstick, but on me, it kind of looks brown on my face. So you can see how much more brown it is than the Makeup Forever. What color is that? It doesn't even say. It says 0G03. I don't know. And then this color is Chai. And by Beauty's out of business, so I'm just kind of nostalgic for this. So I'm going to keep this also. This I forget about both of these because they're really tiny. And they just sort of get lost amongst all the other things. And then this one is Moonshot in Bang from my Yes Out Advent Calendar. And it is very similar to the Kaja. For some reason, when I put this on my face, I don't find it flattering. I just don't like it. <sighs> it doesn't look good. I don't know. Can that be a reason? Is that a good enough reason? I just don't like it. Yeah, that's a good enough reason. If you don't like something, don't keep it. I'm not going to wear this. So, wow. Is that it? Is that all I'm keeping from that category? So, let's bring back everything. Not all the lipsticks. All the neutral lip products. So, I think this is all of them. These are the ones I'm getting rid of, and these are the ones that I'm keeping. I feel really good about that. Let me pull, let me pull back my divider. In my little divider, this is like a comprehensible number of items. Now imagine that with these in there too. I just couldn't even see what I had, right? It was just piled in there like this. It was ridiculous. So we are getting rid of all the crap and we are keeping just the good ones. Now let's put the red lipsticks in there as well. These are, I shouldn't say red, I should say statement lips. These are my statement lips. These are my more natural lips. And that feels really good too, especially if I keep, let's see, the reds and the pinks in different rows. Can I do that? Yes. Okay. Ooh, good. Okay, we got the reds and the pinks. And now imagine I got rid of so many red lipsticks. Now imagine if all of these were in there too. It just looks so much more cluttered. So it feels really good to get rid of all those. And then in my last category, my like weird lips category, I've just got these three. And I think I got rid of maybe only two or three. I also had these items in there and it just kind of filled it up. And I think I could probably fit those in there too now. That'll, that'll look good. Yay! I did it. I got rid of a lot. We're very happy. And oops, that is where I'm ending it, guys. That is the end of today's video. And I'm really excited about this. Oh, man. It's amazing how when you get rid of things and you have so much more clarity on the things that you actually really love, how excited you get. Like, I feel so excited to use all of my old favorites and to not have all of these, like, kind of crabby products I feel eh, about being, you know, just in the way, cluttering it up, making me feel like, oh, I should give that another try because I don't care anymore. I'm, I'm just, I'm done wearing things to give them a try. If I don't love it, why keep it? And this feels really fun. And my hands are really pink now. <laughs> the staining from the reds plus all the new pinks, I'm, 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 I'm very stained, but Anyway, guys, I will see you next week. We're going to do eye products. That's going to be a bonanza of a video. That's going to be a really long one. So I will see you for the next video and take care of yourselves. Let's go.